This entire video is being recorded in 8K 30fps using the brand new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. For this video, we've put down the DSLRs and are recording entirely using just this phone. Can it replace your camera? Let's find out. We're breaking this video down into four main chapters. Chapter one is gonna be 200 megapixels, portrait mode, and nitrography. First things first, the big 200 megapixels. This time around, you've got a massive resolution bump from 180 megapixels to 200 megapixels. When looking at the photos from the S23 Ultra, you can tell they have plenty of detail punchy, vibrant colors, great contrast, and very good processing. The natural bokeh on this also looks really good. Going up from 108 megapixels to 200 megapixels isn't very apparent until you start cropping in and looking at closer details. The S23 Ultra has significantly higher details when cropped in. It's really impressive how much detail is actually maintained. Next, the portrait mode looks incredible. Edge detection is so much better and the bokeh fall off actually looks quite pleasing, even around things like pet fur or in low light. Speaking of low light, Nitography has also come to see some really good improvements. Thanks to the better OIS and processing, low light photos and videos look really good on this. Very, very impressive with the processing and output. When it comes to zoom levels, both phones are capable of going up to 100x and look quite similar. The processing is just ever so slightly better on the S23 Ultra. Chapter 3 OIS The OIS on the S23 Ultra is actually very very impressive. It almost looks as if it's on a gimbal. Take a look at the comparison in the steady mode between the S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra side by side. Here's an extreme running test where I was chasing Tarvin like a madman. And these two shots are taken of me just running like crazy and you can see how steady it tries to keep it. If I was a bit more careful, this would actually look like it's on a gimbal. Chapter 3 8K video the 8K video? Well, you're looking at it. This entire video was shot in 8K using the S23 Ultra, so you guys be the judges of that in the comments below. The natural bokeh looks really nice thanks to that larger sensor size. Here's a quick compilation of some nature shots taken using the S23 Ultra. Now, even in low light situations, the camera quality looks really, really nice. Take a look at these shots taken in a poorly lit cafe of this nice French toast that I got. Chapter four, the new and improved selfie camera. The resolution was dropped from 40 megapixels down to 12 megapixels to allow more lighting. Does that mean you lose a lot of resolution? Not really. Take a look at these shots and tell me what you think. I would rather pick quality over resolution anyway, so this was a welcome change for me. The selfie camera comes with HDR10+, Plus, which allows for multiple layers of exposure, giving a really well-balanced shot even in extreme situations. You can see the processing kick in once you take a picture, and it does a very good job at bringing back the details in those blown out highlights. Now just to add icing on the cake, we tried the new 960 FPS in 1080p on this, and this is just so much fun to play with. Safe to say, Tarvin got really, really wet because of this. So, to answer the question of whether or not this can replace your camera, since this video is being recorded entirely using this phone in 8K, maybe you guys should be the judges of that. Let us know down in the comments. This has been Product Nation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again in the next video. Until then.